Hi guys, sir. welcome to Aditya RPA Academy. In the last video, we have seen in detail about alert stage. Now we are going to see the information about the pay stage and reference stage. See, whenever you try to drag and drop the pay stage into the canvas area, will, the wizard will open. The wizard will tell you about like looking at by using wizard we can create a new page or we can create you know or we can refer to an existing page uh, so etc and of course the process is like a combination of like on various pages the main page is a man of the default one and uh, then we can create like another another pages and then we can link up all you know all other pages by using re uh, page references stage and basically the page reference stage is used to connect the pages within one project and next uh, whenever you know the after completion of the wizard you can see the page information uh, page information stage icon and then double click on the properties window will open and the properties window will tell us like you know what the name name of the like you know, page reference stage uh, whatever the name you enter here obviously that will appear in the process flow like you know, in a process diagram and the description means like you can use the like detail information and page uh, I will link up any page like etc. Like we, and there you can see like no tabs, inputs, outputs, conditions like you know, conditions means like a preconditions and post conditions. And right hand side you can see the data type inputs to the page, and then we'll edit outputs of the page. The input parameters to the processors will specify here correspondingly. If the start stage resides on a sub page, the parameter set related related to that. Uh, page any stage which reference that sub page will have the opportunity to pass values via page reference stage to the page itself to add a parameter simply click the grid below the name column and add a name to the parameter uh, then choose a data type below the data type column finally select the data item to store the input parameter by dragging your data item from the data explorer and dropping it into the column Thank you for watching video. Please stay with us and for more videos. Thank you.